Hello friends and uh, welcome to sqlserverlog.com In previous video we have seen uh, uh, how to download um, uh, SQL Server set of files and SQL Server Management Studio files uh, for installation of SQL Server 2019 developer edition Okay, so in this video we'll, uh, we are going to start the installation So we have downloaded this executable file uh, developer edition uh, which is of 5.67 MB and we have downloaded SQL Server Management Studio which we will install after a completion of this one okay so I'll just double click on it so installation uh, first window has come so installation type uh, we have basic custom and download media so um, uh, as you can see a description is already given for basic custom and download media and here uh, if you're going uh, with the basic installation so uh, this is simple uh, steps you have to just follow instructions to install the SQL server uh, which will install the basic features of it default configuration so I'm going to select custom so that I can uh, choose few more uh, features to it so I'll just click on custom one okay so it is asking for media location uh, to specify SQL Server media download target location so this is uh, C drive uh, SQL 2019 so and minimum free space and download size is given here so what I'll do uh, I'm not going to change this right now I'll just click on install So basically, uh, it is a downloading install package. Okay. It will take some time. So here I'm not skipping any step. This is real time uh, live download. It will take some time.
so this uh, download is completed so it is extracting uh, yeah download is successful it is initializing uh, SQL Server installation center wizard so if you can see uh, planning okay installation so planning all this detail is there I'll just click on installation new SQL Server is standalone installation or add feature to an existing installation so I'll just click on it okay so in uh, product key uh, this wizard uh, especially free edition we have selected developer edition okay I'll just click next terms and conditions I accept the license terms next okay Microsoft update use Microsoft update to check for updates recommended so if you want to check it you just click on it otherwise you can continue it okay so updates are delivered using automatic updates or you can uh, visit Microsoft uh, update website so I'll just check it because it is recommended I'm just checking it and next okay so you can see uh, results of uh, this install uh, rules uh, past past and Windows firewall is warning it's not an error so we can continue next now here uh, in feature selection either you can select you can click on select all and it will select all the features of uh, SQL Server 2019 or you can uh, go for particular uh, feature only like database engine services and if you want a SQL Server replication to be installed or if you want um, machine learning services for R, Python, Java as per your requirement so I'll just click on this and this we can also install it later all these features if you want so I'll also select full text you can see here in feature description uh, all the details are given okay then data quality polybase polybase and the Java connector for SDFS analysis services I don't want then shared features are also available for a standalone machine learning server so I'm not installing currently this one I don't have requirement then client tools connectivity data I need integration services I'll just click on it so you can see prerequisite for selected feature is already mentioning here and disk space requirement Okay, you can see all these features are available and whatever you want as per your requirement you can choose all those features so in integration services if you want to scale out master scale out worker all those features you can do that okay so I'll just check it client tools connectivity okay then in this if you want to install client tools backward compatibility or uh, client tools SDK all those features you can install it master data services if you want 
and uh, for uh, root directory instance root directory by default it is C drive program files and a shared feature directory so I'm not going to change it uh, because I'm okay I have two drives C and D drives and by default this C one is selecting so I'll just continue so I will just go through it we have selected database engine and uh, I need SQL server application uh, features then full text data quality services if you want you can do that it includes data quality uh, database objects full text you can see include search engine that supports full text uh, if you want to see scale out master okay So I'll just maximize it. So these features we have selected. Uh, later I will add uh, more features to it. Right now uh, uh, it is fine. Okay, I'll just select this one also. Client tools, backward compatibility. Uh, this is for shared features. Okay. Okay, fine. So I'm not going to select more features. Where whatever is needed in future, I will add to it next. So you have to uh, instance configuration, default instance or named instance. You can continue with default instance if you want. And, uh, but I need uh, named instance, so I'll give it to SQL one. Okay, and when you click on this, it will automatically uh, change to SQL one. That is your named instance. Okay, then next okay we have a server configuration uh, SQL agent this is manual I'll just change it to automatic uh, database engine I'll change automatic okay it has automatic uh, if you want any feature like uh, for example uh, integration services okay so you if you if you don't want it you can disable it or you can select it on manually right now I'm selecting it manually uh, SQL browser services disabled so if you want you just do it manually okay so these are the services uh, right now I want to remove these two features so I'll just go back back okay this one uh, scale out this one fine Okay, so I have SQL Server Agent Engine Integration Services 15.0 uh, full text and uh, SQL Server Browser. So it is fine as of now. Next. So we have in database engine configuration authentication mode is Windows authentication mode and uh, mix mode. Uh, so I'll select mix mode uh, yeah, because uh, we can. Uh, uh, go with the login for SQL Server authentication as well as Windows authentication. So you can choose your password. So 
I'll just choose one password. Okay, <clears throat> then this is server configuration. We'll see missing system administrator account okay so add current user okay fine so this is data directory so data directory data root directory then uh, system database uh, directory and user database directory uh, by default it is given as C uh, user database are those database which will create uh, for working in future so this is for log directory and this is backup directory so uh, what I'll do I'll just change it uh, user database uh, MS SQL data okay log directory if you want to change log directory you can choose this one okay as for your requirement you can choose one if you have different drives then it would be uh, better so that uh, you'll get uh, better performance so backup directory if you want to take database backups so I have already created these folders okay so data root directory is fine and user uh, database uh, and log and backups I'm taking on D drive so now see uh, temp DB so by default whatever is given here number of files initial size and all I'm not changing to it and uh, this log directory is C drive so that is fine for me max stop uh, right now I'm not changing anything uh, memory uh, if you want to change it uh, max uh, server memory as per uh, your systems and uh, performance uh, uh, tuning purpose you can change it right now I'm not changing it okay so this is fine uh, next okay so this is ready to install SQL Server 2019 features you can go through it so you'll get all the information summary addition action prerequisites uh, general configuration features instance config configuration shared components and uh, all those details I'll just scroll down your directories database engine uh, temp DB memory you can change this uh, max server memory and min server memory later also uh, max top maximum degree of parallelism okay then I'm clicking on install
installation is in progress so this is real time I'm not skipping anything uh, it is going on real time basis So our installation is complete here. Uh, if you'll we'll see uh, the status of features, data quality services succeeded, succeeded. So all these features uh, completed successfully, installation successful. Okay, so I'll just close it. Okay, so SQL Server installation is complete. Now uh, we will install SQL Server Management Studio. So this is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure Data Studio. Install. This is release 18.7 latest one. Uh, it has been released on 20th October uh, So it has successfully uh, completed, installation is successful. So I'll just close it. 
okay I'll just close this one also because installation is already completed Sequestor Management Studio Okay, database server SQL1 SQL1 is named instance which we have given and now I'm just trying to connect it and it is successful okay so in this way our uh, SQL Server installation is completed SQL Server 2019 uh, developer edition thank you